Hi, it's Mark from Trading Spark. In this video, we're going to show you how you can prevent people from stealing your course content by using LearnDash's own integrity add-on. So this is an add-on that is from the creators of LearnDash and it's free and you can install it on your LearnDash platform should you wish to do so. And the intention is that it you protect some of your site content from being copied and lifted and put on other courses and websites and things like that. So logged in as an administrator with a LearnDash platform already set up, what I'm going to do is head to LearnDash LMS and then add-ons. And we're looking here for one called LearnDash LMS Integrity, which says it protects your LearnDash site from content theft. So I'm just going to go ahead and install that now by clicking this icon. And once that's installed, it will appear in this top section under installed and we can activate it here by clicking this plug icon. Once that's activated, we can head to settings and we have this new item here in the top menu bar of the LearnDash settings called integrity. So if we head to that, we can see the ways that it protects your site. And we're going to go through these one by one. So what I'll do first is deactivate all of the default options and we're going to switch them on and show them how they are affecting our platform. So the first one is called protect, Prevent Hot Linking and it says it protects your videos and images hosted on this site from hot linking. So what is hot linking? Hot linking is when another website links to or embeds your content on their own website. So what they might do is link to this image on their own course or embed it on their own course. And the problem with that is that it's using up your own web server's resources by delivering your content to someone else. So um, if that other website became popular and started getting lots and lots of hits, it can really affect your own server performance because lots of requests are being made of certain images on your course. So we want to protect this by preventing anyone from linking to or embedding your course content on their own platforms. So as an example here, I've got this competitor website here and it's just a, a, a mock-up here. So they're on a different domain here. This one's on sandbox.trainingspark.com, which is your platform in this uh, example. And then your competitor is on a different domain which is trainingspark.com. Yeah, it's a completely different domain. And I've embedded some content from one of these courses on my own page. And we can see it's here. So it's it's this image. What I've done is lifted that. and Well, I haven't even lifted it. I've just embedded it or linked to it from this page. And you want to prevent that from happening. And we can do that by enabling this prevent hot linking option here. And then once we enable that and then click save. If I refresh this a few times, what we find is that that image now no longer displays on this person's website. And even if they click this link to try and download it, it says forbidden, forbidden. you don't have permission to access the resource. And yet while it's, on this page, it's still shown as normal. So what this means is that the image is showing fine on your own platform, but anyone else from an external website or platform that tries to link to it is going to have issues and they're going to see something like this. So that's a useful feature to pre prevent people from putting your, own, putting your content on their platforms and using up all your server resources by doing that. So the next item is this prevent concurrent login option. And the intention behind this, I think, is to prevent people from sharing their own user accounts with other people. So if you imagine someone's bought access to one of your courses, what you wouldn't want them to do is share that access to 10 other people and then for them to be able to log in and access the course. So what it's doing is preventing that one login or one username and password from being used multiple times, especially at the same time here. So let's enable that and just show you how that works. You can exclude roles from this, by the way. So 
if you did want administrators to be able to log in on multiple um, different devices and things like that at the same time, then you can add these to that list. But I'll leave that for now and show you that while I'm logged in as my username here on sandbox.trainingspark.com, what I'm going to do is open a new private window, which is essentially like a new device almost, and go to um, the site here and log in using the same username and password. And what it says is your account has exceeded the maximum concurrent logins. So I cannot log in now because I'm already logged in on this other um, session here. So that's just another great way of, of preventing people from sharing access to other accounts that then might be able to get access to your content for free. This one here is prevent content copy. And it says prevent content from being copied on this site. <clears throat> so if I was to open the uh, web page here, or any web page normally, you can right click and you know save images um, and you know open them in new tabs, save them to your computer. Um, right click actually enables you to do quite a lot. So I can copy course content, paste it into another page. So there's a danger that someone could just simply come on, copy all of your content and paste it into another document and they've got it for free elsewhere. So what we can do with that is enable this prevent content copy option. And now once I've got that enabled, if I right click, nothing now happens. So it's just a, a, an additional measure to, to try and prevent people from you know, copying aspects of your site. And this isn't foolproof, you know, if anyone knows what they're doing, they can get access to images and things like that just by looking them up elsewhere. So, you know, it's it's um, it's more of a preventative measure. It's not going to fully protect your content from being stolen, but, you know, uh, if anyone doesn't really know what, what they're doing there, that it just gives them, a, you know, it would stop them from trying to steal your images and things like that. And the last one is to enable recapture um, on your login and registration pages. So if you're getting a lot of spam registrations and spam logins and things like that, what you can do is enable this recapture option for uh, on those. And if you've probably seen these before. It's usually like a, a tick box to say, are you a robot? You know, and you, it's just to make sure that you are a legitimate person that's trying to log in here. And if you enable these, you will have to go to um, Google's recapture here and, and set up a, um, an account there and you'll be given a secret key and a site key and you can put those in and once that's on, you can choose to enable it on the login and registration pages. I probably won't go into that in much detail, but that is um, something that you'd have to set up separately within Google to get these these values. But once you have those on, it will make your login pages and registration pages a lot more secure and um, less likely to be spammed. So here you find those useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.